You're watching the SCAC Spring Media Days. Today it's time to take a look at the Shrine University Mountaineers tennis programs on both the men's and women's side. The men's program, of course, coming off an 11-10 and 10 season overall and winners of last year's fifth place match at the SCAC tournament. The women's team, 10-10 and 10 a season ago, falling in the fifth place match. The Mountaineers will once again be led by head coach Austin Carolla along with senior Austin Albright on the men's side and senior Kara Miller on the women's side. Coach Andrew Kara, welcome and thanks so much for joining us today hi Thank <laughs> yeah <laughs> thanks for having us <laughs> coach i'll start with you you're heading now into your second full season at the helm of both programs what did you learn from a season ago that will really help you heading into this year and how excited are you to embark uh, on a new journey with this 2019 team that's a great question uh last year there was a lot of learning moments uh just a lot of new things that happened to this program that hadn't happened before. And so, you know, that year was a really big learning moment for me and uh, with my coaching staff. But I believe that we really did end off the year on a good note and we had a really good year. So we're just using that momentum, especially with the really good recruiting class that we just got for the, you know, for 20, for 2019, that we're going to be rocking and rolling and we're just building on what the experience that we gained last year. And I, really do have some high goals for this team this season and I believe that you know we're going to be we're going to be in a good place come you know late April when we're competing at the SCAC championships. Andrew for you coming off your junior season you earned all tournament team honors for doubles a season ago you also earned honorable mention all conference honors as well what have you worked on specifically in your game individually that you hope really is going to propel you into a productive senior year out there on the court? Right, right. Um, for me, it's uh, mostly my fitness. My fitness level has gone up, uh, especially with the rest of the team as well. But I think that's something that's going to set me apart from other players is uh, just being the most fit out there and being able to compete at the highest level throughout the entire match. Kara, for you, similar to Andrew, you're, you're coming off a season in which last year you earned all tournament honors as well. What did you work on individually throughout the course of the summer in this offseason heading into to your senior year that you hope really helps you know, prepare you to, to have your best season possible as a senior? Um, similar to Andrew, I worked on fitness as well as some singles coaching over the offseason. So hopefully we'll be able to go into this next season stronger and better and better prepared to handle this next season. Coach, getting back to you, as we look specifically at this men's team, you talked about the recruiting that you've done. Busy on the men's side, 10 freshmen. Freshmen obviously bring in a unique energy and challenge into a program. You know, How have those freshmen been, been integrating into this group, and what excites you about this big group of, of young talent heading into to, uh, to this season? Yes, the, the 10 freshmen, including the one transfer that came in, they have brought a lot more competitiveness within the team. Uh, so I think that really amps up our culture and all the guys, when we go out there and start practicing, it's not just six guys out there anymore. We've got, we have 15, 16 guys out there just getting after it in practice. So it creates that competitive atmosphere because they're all making each other better. You know, iron sharpens iron. And so by the time match day rolls around and as we get deeper into the season, our guys are going to be in the top, you know, in top shape, and they're going to be able to play some of their best tennis this season. So, and you know, with those number of guys, you've got different game styles, different personalities, and so far, you know, they've all gelled really well together, and they all get along, and uh, you know, they all have bought into the program and into the culture, and have really been sold on the vision of what we want to do, uh, you know, this season and even in the future. Coach, sticking with you, but shifting to the women's program, a season ago, we focused on the youth and the talent of this team. A lot of freshmen and a lot of sophomores that you were going to have to depend on to play some big you know, time matches and some big time points for this team. Now, obviously, a season later, they're sophomores and juniors. How much will that experience from a season ago really help this team? And how much have you sort of seen them grow? And how excited are you to see them kind of take that next step with this program heading into this season? Of course, uh, you know they you know they, they're the core of the team now as sophomores and juniors, and you know they're going to be still here uh, come next year. And so them, you know, coming from last year to this year, they just have a ton of more. They have a ton of more match experience. You know, so when it comes to match days, they're going to be that more seasoned and ready to go when we start playing. And they definitely have helped, uh, you know, I'll, I'll throw the senior class in there too, because they've been with me all this time, but 
they really helped like the freshmen be integrated into the program and we didn't have that many freshmen that came in but you know it's not always about the number it's about the quality and all of them have been very high quality and they're very much going to help us uh, make our lineup deeper and then uh, when it comes you know, we start playing, we're playing an emphasis on, you know, our SCAC opponents. And on those match days, we just amp it up just a little bit more. So I think that core group that you're talking about really going to help us, like, get get ready on those days and uh, making sure that the team's on board. Again, you're watching the SCAC Spring Media Days. Today we're taking a look at the Shriner Mountaineers men's and women's tennis programs. We're joined by head coach Austin Carolla, along with senior Andrew Albright of the men's program and Sarah Kara Miller of the women's program. And Andrew, getting back to you, coach talked about 10 freshmen and the challenges that that you know, brings to a program. For you as a senior, one of the few, two, I think two seniors on this team, how have you shouldered that responsibility and taken on that challenge of being one of the leaders uh, with this team? Um, I think it's awesome. I've always kind of been in a leadership position uh, growing up and especially on this team. Uh, I think we have a great bond and uh, especially with the 10 freshmen, it just brings the atmosphere, uh, you know, makes it a lot better. Uh, it deepens our depth chart is in terms of the team and um, it just makes practice more f uh, fast paced and fun. So I'm, I'm, it's, it's awesome. It's working out great. Kara, we talked about Coach being in his second year as the, the head of the program there, and he's talked about some of the things that he learned from a season ago going into this year. How have you seen him transition? What have been the biggest differences that you've noticed from Coach? And and how much can you lean on you know a guy like Coach Scrolla who played at Shriner, has been through what it's like to be not only there academically but athletically as well? Is that something that this team can really benefit from? Yes, absolutely. So Coach Scrolla knows this team inside and out. He knows – like you said, what it was like to be a player and now moving from the assistant coach position into the head coach position. And I think this year he's just going in with a more solid game plan. He has it written all down from day one what the goals he wants to accomplish, and I think that'll help get us far in this season. You know, wrapping things up with both Andrew and Kara, for, for the two of you, what are some of the goals that you have for both of your programs? Obviously, both right at 500 or just over 500 teams getting to that fifth place match. There's clearly a lot of excitement with both of these programs heading into the year. So what are some of the, the marks or goals that you guys have written down for your programs heading into this 2019 season? Um, for, for, the, for the guys, it's I think we need to keep our keep our noses down and just keep it on the grindstone and uh, work hard every single day. And if we can do that and then take that energy into our matches, especially being a, a fitness prepared, uh, fitness wise, match play wise, and practice wise, we'll have a great season. And I think for the women, one major thing we want to work on this year is unity. Really being out there at practice, working together as a team, keeping each other accountable, and working hard throughout the entire season, no matter whether it's first day of practice or last day of practice, keeping up that hard work. And finally, to wrap things up with you, Coach Carolla, when you look at both of these teams and for fans and people that are going to come out and support these programs throughout the course of the year, what do you hope really becomes kind of the identity of these groups, these two groups that regardless of the result, win or loss, uh, the people that come to support will be able to really count on what with, with your programs heading into this season for in order to be successful? The one thing that comes to my mind when it comes to what I want the fans to take away from it is how competitive we are. You know, no matter who is on the other side of that net, no matter what it says on their shirt, regardless, it doesn't matter. We come out there ready to rock and roll. And uh, I just want fans to be able to see that we're competitive, that we don't have bad days, that we're there grinding. And even if we're, you know, if, if we have a few players aren't playing their best, we still want them to, you know, fake it till they make it. Keep going. Keep keep playing the point and get back into it. And talking about what you said, asking me about the wins and losses, I want fans to also know that we're, you know, we, you know, we're joyful when we win and we're humble when we lose. You know, so we're not rubbing in our opponent's face. You know, we shake their hand, good sportsmanship, and then when we lose, we learn something from it and we're humble by it. You know, and we don't get angered. Or, you know, you know, it's okay, you know, it might be a little sad, but, you know, that should motivate our team to get better. And so that's why, I, you know, I really do encourage our fans to come out because I want them to enjoy that experience of watching both teams competing, especially at the same time. You know, that's quite an experience that you might not get anywhere else. So. 
The Shriner University men's and women's tennis programs, of course, again, the Mountaineers will be led heading into the season by head coach Austin Carolla, along with senior Andrew Albright on the men's side and senior Kara Miller on the women's side. The men open up play February 2nd as they take on Dallas Baptist, while the women open up action February 9th when they take on Centenary. Coach Andrew, Kara, thanks so much for joining us today, and best of luck as you head into the season. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.